clearly I have no material. <laughs> oh, just just um, so, so you know, I'm recording this on video, so just so it's not a surprise to anyone. Yep, no problem. You got the good side of the place, so. <laughs> 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 um, Yeah, I mean... <laughs> no pressure. Good. Yeah, problems in the industry, pretty quick, um, because like I said, uh, you know, often get together as individuals and have a bit of a bitch and moan about what's going wrong. Um, some some of the problems that I see recently are just in general the, the cooling off of the market in terms of you know the availability of jobs, um, the quality of the jobs, and um, often you know I guess that's probably my two main main observations. Um, but I don't know. This is the opportunity for people to sort of kick in and see if we can talk about that. In general, like you know, quality and availability of jobs, or we can highlight other sort of you know industry-wide um, problems, which I guess is the scope of this particular talk or session. Does, do people agree with that? That the, the quantity oh, slash yeah, and look, there's there's threats I suppose to our traditional jobs as well. If if you think about cloud type solutions where I can go and buy unlimited capacity in a data centre, what do I need performance for, what do I need capacity planning for. So I suppose the challenge for us is how do we stay relevant with that sort of mindset. Yeah. But do, do you believe that um, cloud computing or virtualization or whatever is going to solve most I didn't of say the performance issues? It. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, the perception. I, the perception. I, I think that that's actually probably a topic two thing. I, I think mm, that's yeah, really yeah. a thing managers don't get and they go, we've just got lots of servers, we'll be fine, we don't need to test. I think the biggest problem is just management buy -in. They don't value it. But they I don't value it, so they don't do it properly. They don't put the time and effort in. But I think they, and they don't budget for it. Though, because you've got yeah. retailers who go offline, like Kmart did two weeks ago. You've got you know, ComBank crash every five minutes of their ATM network, and people can't access their funds. That's big, big bucks for the companies involved. So mm. when you look at what you do, it's now, I think, more critical than ever. After Obama. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing, no, it's that's fixed. all you heard about. That's fixed last couple of days. No, no, I understand, yeah. but that's all you heard about when it came out. Absolutely. Not, yeah. It's yeah, new yeah. system. It's, it sucks. So it's that's, that's the time. irony of the, the paradox, I guess, the, of the problem. Oh, I understand. So it's that, become more, actually more There's probably more work out there. There's actually more work out there because there's more highlighted work. There should be more work. Every time there. something goes offline now, you're hearing about it. If it's not in the, in the you know, social media, LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever, You've now got it on the media, or, or you know, people are now accessing more information all the time, 24 by 7. Um, I think journalists, because you know they kind of rewrite the same article again and again, and just change the names. Um, so, <laughs> they, <laughs> well, so, so they, they've got like typical stories, like you know you have the heartwarming story where the blah 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 has cancer and someone you know does something nice, and you have they've now got I think a template for you know big important website goes down, it's embarrassing, blah, 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 they've got their Rolodex with, okay, who do I call to get a quote? Um, and you see this with, you know, like CFA problem that they had, you saw it with the My Schools website. Um, right, and, and they got, okay, I just, Airline boogie systems. Jetstar went down, so went down. down. There, it, it, it's a type of story, there's maybe journalists who go, oh, okay, I know how to write that type of story, it's, it's easy, source data, you've got quotes, you've got social media things to pull, pull quotes from, and yeah, it's easy um, link bait to, to attract eyeballs to your newspaper website. It's true, I did a job for my hospital, and uh, that, you know, all eyes were on the launch, and then, um, and the journo sort of, you know, well, one from one news core, I think it was, said, um, yeah, yeah, no, sites down, sites down, and we all like ran around like headless chickens went, no, it's a 404, they just like typed in the wrong, <laughs> <laughs> wrong address. <laughs> you idiots, but you know, you could have made the news. Like, and they, had, they sent us a screenshot, you know, that they're going to put in the news, and like, no, no, that's a 404. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't let them. Here's the proper URL. <laughs> so, if, if I could flip this around, right, I mean, it's, it's easy to see this as a challenge in the industry, right? It's easy to see this as a challenge. So, let me flip it around. Why is it a challenge? Well, it comes back to your statement of type of work and the quality of work. Yeah. yeah. Because that's what, it, that's what it creates. That's a very reactive mode. So you get thrown into a, you know, yeah. a hair curveball situation where you've got to fix it like yesterday. Yes. Um, and you get no time to actually sit down and think about it. And you expect them to deliver outcomes in, you know, in seconds as opposed to sitting there actually analyzing it properly for the long term of the company. So why are we in this situation? Because there's no planning by the management team inside mm -hmm. companies to actually look at this. 
it comes back to the Amazons and so forth as well. I can't even look at that, so just buy it. It's you know, two bucks an hour. I'm having yeah, service, right? It's a commoditization. It's commoditization of, of the infrastructure. Yeah, but not just that. Obviously, the, the, the perceived costs, like, um, you know, they can just outsource their whole, you know, their whole um, infrastructure, their whole people supply. Well, they give it to a CSC and say, it's your property, you manage it. Yeah, and, you, and the contract says you must tune the system. Well, yeah, what does that mean? But that's, that's the level, that's the, the summary they put in. Yeah, correct. I guess, but even in outsourcing, there's this big problem where even whether it goes to CSC or Accenture or TCS, whoever, they, in order to get the bid through, mm. they would never cater to the performance budget so much because obviously that will be at the back of their minds, but they'll say, we would rather get a change request done through the client mm. and milk <laughs> them <laughs> at a level bar and get, uh, get the performance thing saying, this is your problem, this was not in scope, so we need to get this done. So. I think it's vested interest, mutual interest that some of the customers think that we, we're going to lose a bit, so why even bother catering, boosting our budget? We do we want to do the right thing for the client, but not at the cost of losing the client. So uh, is that going to be solved by educating the sales people or the tech people who are actually doing the bidding? Probably not. It's so, yeah, but it's so hard. Once you get a vendor in, Exactly. At some price to, to deliver something. Correct. But once they're in, it, the performance Screw. might be rubbish, but it doesn't matter. You can't then turn the vendor. Yeah. You, you, you're locked in. There's nothing you can do. No, right. perhaps if the clients were better informed about what they should be asking. Exactly. For. Absolutely. That's exactly what we're doing. Right. As a vendor, it's probably doing. Write the proper SLAs. Correct. Right. Everything starts with your definition of your requirement, right? And correct me if I'm wrong. 99.9% in even the program I encourage you. There are no definitions of performance. There are no non-functional requirements. Forget performance testing, which comes towards the end of the life cycle. There is no definition. So when people write the RFP, where is the definition for performance in it? But I think all of us are equally to blame. We can sit and we can say, right, none of this is being done. But can we do something to change it? Well, my argument will come back though. The customer doesn't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It all comes down to cost. Right. Not until the production misses anyway. Ah, that's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because hey, it's hit the press. Yeah, it's right. hit the website. Yeah. It's hit the customers. It's, it's always the rules. Do you have that's different requirements? Just don't know what they are. Yeah. But uh, they won't pay for up front it as an insurance it'll, it'll policy. So what you have is customers going reacting. Yeah, take it out. Cost us money. <laughs> cut costs. Cut costs. Cut costs. First thing comes out is the serial. So because it's not so important. I, I, I think something uh, you know, at a macro level. You know, IT for most companies, it's in a cost center. Yeah. And you always seek Correct. to minimize the costs. Mm -hmm. Most CFOs support the CFOs, until you're right. right. And historically, performance and, and the specialist area is obviously the most expensive. So the first to get, okay, we can do that for 30 well, it's, it's yeah. hard, 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 hard to tell if you've done good performance testing. No, no, we don't worry about that. So quality, <laughs> to measure. quality cost is very easy to measure. Mm -hmm. but Stuart, again, how does someone who doesn't understand is unable to define the requirements in the first place, able to understand the difference between a good job and a not so yeah. good job. Yeah. So do we have to like show them up kind of thing? Is that, is that like, whether it's through you know, good NFRs or actually just highlighting that there is a performance problem? Because I, I think a lot of people d don't even really understand what a performance problem is Absolutely. anyway. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I okay, guess just, just in a minute to close this one. What, what can be done? Yeah, yeah I was going to say that exactly. Like um, basically, is this something that requires manual intervention by us? Absolutely. Or can we just leave it alone and then hope that the industry is like booming in five years when everyone, <laughs> everyone's websites are failing? <laughs> <laughs> and they need to find someone that had experience with technology X. I mean, I, this, somehow, how I, sometimes how I see it personally is like, oh, there's not much I can do as an individual or even as a tool vendor. You know, I'm sort of, in some ways I'm contributing to the cheapness. Thing, you know, by driving the price down. Absolutely, so, and that's yeah. what we got to avoid. That's precisely what we have to avoid. Yeah, we'll take advantage of it. Well, yeah, I'm sort of taking, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, I'm sort of taking advantage of that. But uh, anyway, yeah, so, yeah. probably to you guys, well, do we need to do something? I think it's ongoing it. education with customers in the highlight. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And I think it's important, you know, from that point of view, because, you know, from what we sort of hear in the industry, is that the proportion of the IT budget that the CIO is actually going to get to spend is going to diminish incredibly. 
So it's actually the business that are going to be dictating the IT budget. So our challenge is to try and take these deeply technical skills across the business stakeholders and convince them of the benefit. Right. So that's why you know maybe this is the relevance for forums like this Absolutely. to educate the industry as a whole that these are things you need to matter about. Right. The more we are seen, the more we are heard. It's like you know the crying baby gets milk. I mean, there's one thing I realized, right? I can be on a program and I can keep saying it sucks, no one's going to give me work, right? No one's going to, you know, everyone's going to look at it as performance testing. But there's one thing I realized, if you don't stand up and you don't tell people stuff that needs to get done, no one is ever going to listen to you. And I guess it, it ultimately starts with the RFP. And that's what I see where the mistakes are made. Because in the RFP, you don't account for performance. And eventually when the application, when people start putting things together, they don't care for our performance. And it's only when shit hits the ceiling that you get the performance <coughs> testing guys in to fix performance in two weeks. Hmm. Yeah, and, that, and during that time, with the two weeks, the developers don't even have enough time to fix their code no. because it's no. uh, a lot of maybe from um, SQL query. Um, so, <laughs> can I just, can you yeah. just add one yeah. point? Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone has a consensus what the problem we're facing. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking how this group can actually uh, get clarity. And if we are moving forward, let's say to collaborate with a like, you know, that uh, academic institute and, and in, in the big companies and etc., we may actually um, try to get some um, industry benchmark in terms of the cost benefit. You know, if we're not doing performance testing, what will, what will be the cost? Management only concerned with the dollars and cost and nothing else. Um, so, if we got those uh, information and the group could actually I mean, that's a in, in a function to promote this to across the industry and with the business, maybe that's something we can do. So you're saying cost of not investing in performance, right? So the ROI of not investing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah in, in quite quite the, the, the CMG standards. You know, the official yeah, some standards. some some nice. I, I, I think that'll make a great post-it note for next. Next. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> next. All right. So just. Straw poll, agile, blah blah blah, show of hands, is this format working, useful, 